right, we're here with Leah. Now, Leah submitted an essay. Two to three thousand students yeah. submitted an essay this year for the Stop the Hate campaign. And her essay was submitted number one in which she received a $40,000 scholarship to go to any college of her choice. Leah, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, girl, we're, we're blessed to have you. Now, look, this, this essay, have you always been a writer? Yeah, so I did creative writing like a couple years ago, and I was thinking about going into it as a field, but um, I have other passions that I feel strongly about, so I decided to pursue those so instead. So who enticed you to, to, to submit your essay? So this was a school assignment, so my teacher had all 90 of his students um, submit this to Stop the Hate at the Maltz Museum, and my essay came out winning, and I was really surprised. Wow. Right, right. Talk about how you found out you won. So they did kind of like a publisher's clearinghouse where they all came and lined up outside on my lawn and like in my driveway, and someone came and knocked on my door, and I answered it, and everyone was standing out there with a giant check, and half of my teachers were there supporting me and cheering me on. Oh, wow. You seem pretty like composed right now, where you're like, oh my God, oh my God, I won, I won. No, I was so, I was in so much shock that I was kind of just standing there and I looked really awkward in the video, so. <laughs> now look, I read your essay, okay? From, from front to back, I read your essay. And what really drew me in was the first line when you said you were in the seventh grade and this kid tried to bully you and he told you you weren't normal because you were a hearing aid. And you were like, I know I'm not normal. I'm one of a kind. Where did you get this confidence from? Um, I don't really know because I usually I'm like behind the shadows and like I just thought to myself I'm not gonna let him say this to me and then I just came back with that remark because I, I knew he wasn't gonna get the last word. Yeah, that's so awesome. When someone says you can't do something, that kind of strives you and motivates you to want to do it even more. You can yeah. speak to what happened to you in high school. Yes, in high school, one of my teachers told me I had no chance to play in the NFL. They actually went as far as showing me the stats. On the board, on the chalkboard, like. Yes, like this how many people did do this and that, and this is the percentage you have to go to the NFL, 0.1% to go to the NFL and I looked at that number and I was like I'm in that number that's me and I feel like you are the same person right. when I think of that tell me something that you can tell kids you know that may be bullied or go through situations similar to yours I would tell them that it's gonna get better if you stand up for yourself and you never like have to resort to violence just using the power of your words to treat the person who's bullying you the way that you want to be treated because eventually they'll become smart enough and they'll know what they're doing isn't working and they'll have to treat you with respect or else they're just not going to look at as a person. Man, that's awesome. My wife is is the bully in our marriage and I needed to hear that for <laughs> I am not a bully. <laughs> because what I have at home, I need to be strong like you. Leah, do not listen to him, Josh. Stand no, you can get it. Okay, $40,000 to attend a college of your choice. Where are you going to go? You going to stay local? I will be attending the University of Southern Mississippi. Oh. You said Kent State University? No, no, no <laughs> not at all. I'm just joking because I have a... Kent State. Uh, right behind them. Yeah, yeah. and I'm a, a You kind of went to Kent State, but yeah. we do like the sunshine, too. We don't blame you. What are you going to major in? I'm doing forensic biology and microbiology. Oh, wow. Okay. She's smart, baby. Smart girl. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you go ahead with your bad self. Okay. Channel 19, we have an initiative called Too Strong for Bullies going on right now. Do you plan on continuing to stop the hate legacy? when you go down to Mississippi to go to school? Yeah, I have already been like in contact with people at my university who are like in the audiology and hearing program. And I've reached out and I've asked them about like the deaf community and how to get involved with the hearing loss community because I still really want to keep my ties strong and just help other people. And then also Josh, you've been like pushing on politicians now. Yeah. Tell me about this bill that you're trying to get passed. So Ohio House Bill 243 or Madeline's Law is a bill which would require insurance companies to pay for hearing aids for children up to the age of 21 because hearing aids are really expensive and they can cost anywhere from $1,500 to $6,000. The reason why insurance companies don't cover them is because they classify them as cosmetic devices. So we really want to change that and make that different so that everyone can have access to being able to hear like everyone else. I don't know. You sound like you have a quite a political career. I know. She's on fire. Well. She's Something on you fire. believe in. I know a lot of kids are going to be looking up to you. And I just want to say, keep up the advocate. I yes. know it's 
it's hard to kind of advocate and speak up, but don't ever lose that in you. That that I, that's impressive to me. Congratulations on your success. You are all like an awesome all around. You inspired me. Keep up what you're doing. Don't ever stop, girlfriend. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank Thank you. Take care coming. and stay safe. Bye. Bye.